Now this video will show you how to find the inverse of a matrix on your graphing calculator. We've already shown how to do it by hand, so here's a way you can check your answers. The first thing we need to do is just enter in the matrix. So if we press second matrix and then go over to the edit menu by pressing right twice, let's go ahead and enter in the first matrix in matrix A. So we'll press enter and let's say it's a two by two to start with. So we'll press two, enter, two, enter. Let's go ahead and just type in some elements. Let's say 4, negative 3, 7, and 2. Enter. And let's go ahead and enter in a 3 by 3 into matrix B. So second matrix, right arrow over to edit, and now we'll scroll down to matrix B and press enter. And we're going to use a 3 by 3 matrix, and it's already set up as a 3 by 3. So we'll just press Enter, Enter. And then we'll go ahead and enter in the elements. Let's just go ahead and enter in 1, Enter, 2, Enter, 3, Enter, negative 2, Enter, 6, Enter, negative 1, Enter. And then the last row is going to be 4, Enter, 1, Enter, and 9, Enter. Okay, so once we've entered in the matrices, we just have to go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for the quit option. And then we're going to select the matrix. So let's go ahead and select matrix A, second matrix, press enter. And then to find the inverse of this matrix, we just have to press X to the negative one for the inverse. Key. So we press this key here, and then we just press enter. Notice this one is in decimal notation. We can easily convert this to fraction notation by pressing math, enter, enter. And there is the inverse of that two by two matrix that we entered. And let's go ahead and do the same for the three by three. So now we'll select matrix B, second matrix, select matrix B, and we'll do the same thing. Just press the inverse key here and press enter. And again, this one is in decimal notation, but if you really want fractional notation, we just need to press math, enter, enter. And there it is in fraction notation. Now notice on the right we have three dots, meaning there's more information over here on the right, so we can press the right arrow and we can scroll over there to, to see the entire matrix. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. Again, this is a nice way to check your work after you have found inverse matrices by hand. Thank you and have a good day.